right guys, welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. I'm Jake and today I just got home from work and I just hopped in the truck and hooked up the SureTrack dump trailer and we are actually headed to go pick up seven yards of process, they call it. It's uh, like subsoil process. The construction on our stamped concrete patio started today and uh, I told the guy who's doing it that I would help him out by going to pick up, oh, this camera's really shaking, that I would help him go uh, by picking up all the process that he needs. Um, since I have the dump trailer, makes it a lot easier. I can get it. Um, I'll probably do it in two loads just because the stuff is really heavy, but it happens to be right down the road um, here in our town. Um, so it's like a quarter mile down the road. So I'm headed there now. I'm kind of in a rush because they close in just under an hour, but I think I should be able to get in and out and uh, load it up twice um, within that time frame. Now, when I get back home, I will show you guys the process and, uh, or the progress rather, um, that they made today. Um, they should be coming back tomorrow as long as I'm able to get all of this process dumped in the area um, by tomorrow and then they're gonna take a couple days off because it's supposed to rain and then they'll be back on Friday to actually pour the uh, concrete slab and then stamp it so we should have a patio fingers crossed by like next week so Sarah and I are super excited and uh, yeah we'll check back in when we get to the place Okay guys, we just got loaded up with what I think is way more than seven yards of process. Uh, it turns out there wasn't their normal operator there who normally loads people up. Um, so a triaxle dump truck driver showed up and he said he could load me. Uh, problem is he didn't know how big the bucket of the loader was. I was estimating that that bucket was probably at least five yards. Um, and he came with two full, full buckets. Um, so I told him not to dump the entire second bucket. Uh, we're gonna see how this goes. The spot that I need to get it into um, is gonna require a little bit of maneuvering and it just started to drizzle. So the grass is gonna be a little bit slick. Um, I don't even know if the trailer's gonna dump this. Uh, this stuff is really heavy because it's so fine per yard. Um, I was told that there's about 1.3 yards per ton. Um, so we're gonna find out together, one, to see if we can even maneuver this, and two, if we can dump it. Uh, so stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so here's the scenario. Here is the doors to the kitchen. Um, and this is where the patio is going to be. It's going to be all out in here, all the way up to the foundation over there, come out around the lilac bush, and then all the way out to that end post over there. 
I was able to get the truck and trailer over here, surprisingly. Um, wasn't too wet. Just put it in four-wheel drive low and crept. And the old F-250 Power Stroke was able to back it up. Um, but now we'll see if the sure track dump trailer can hoist up this beefy load. Now, as I said, I think he definitely gave me more than seven yards um, because this trailer up to the top of the wooden sides, uh, I've calculated holds about 14 yards. Um, so I think I have substantial, substantially more fill or not fill process than I might need. But um, that's all right. I only paid for seven yards, so not really my problem. If I got to get some of it hauled out of here, I do have the equipment to do it. So we're going to try and dump this thing because I don't want this much weight in my trailer for much longer. Definitely not gonna happen. Okay guys, here's the plan. I'm really glad I got this mini skid steer because I think just about the only option I have is to start shoveling some of this stuff out by hand since the trailer um, isn't strong enough to dump it. This stuff, I don't even know how much it's got away, but um, it's definitely a really heavy load. I could feel it on the truck. I could see it on the tires of the trailer. Um, I have my airbags in my truck pumped up all the way to 100 PSI, which is what they max out at. Um, and the truck is still squatting a bit. So I'm going to use the Cormiti C1500 mini loader. Um, I think this would honestly be like pretty much the perfect tool for right now, because I don't really care if this ground gets torn up because a patio is going over it. Um, you know, they're going to pour the stuff on Friday so I can tear it up all I want. I can shovel out as much as I can from this trailer and uh, we'll go from there. I mean, even if the weight is still too much, I theoretically could put the ramps down on the back and just unload the whole thing with the loader. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to do that, um, but we shall see. So this is gonna be a learning experience and it'll be a real good uh, opportunity for me to practice on the controls of this Cormiti mini loader. So let's see how it goes.
right, guys, we just got 10 bucketfuls out of the back of the trailer with the Cormidi mini loader here. Um, I'm not exactly sure how much material this bucket holds. Um, I think my tractor bucket holds about one third of a yard. So I'd imagine that maybe that bucket is like a, a quarter of a yard or a fifth of a yard or something. But we got a decent amount. Oh, I just slipped going up the ramps here. Um, but we got a decent amount out of the trailer. Um, now, unfortunately, a lot of the weight is still up in the front. Um, as I'm sure you guys could have tell, it's a little tough getting the material out with the mini loader just on the ramps because you get you're going up 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 the ramps and i'm trying to scoop up this material right here and the loader arms only go down so far and then you get to the tipping point at the top of the ramps and you kind of teeter-totter um so it's definitely taking get some getting used to and i was definitely holding on for dear life but i'm gonna get these ramps out of the way and we're gonna see if the dump trailer has the guts to start raising up and dump the rest of this load. I really have no idea if it will or not. Um, this stuff's pretty heavy. It, it, it's quite a great counterbalance going back down the ramps in reverse, having all the weight in the bucket, though. It makes it a lot easier to control and a lot smoother. It doesn't wanna, doesn't wanna go. There's still too much weight up in the front. So I think uh, I'm just gonna have to keep shoveling some out with the, with the machine here. So ramps back on. Alright guys, well, we are going to attempt to dump it now for the second time. I've gotten more out and I've tried to pull as much material back as I could. Um, it's proving to be a little bit tougher than, uh, I don't, well, not that I thought. I thought it was going to be pretty tough 
to begin with. But I have to contend with the angle of the ramps here and then the like little berm almost you can see right here that the skid steer like kind of stops at and then it goes up and then it tilts back down again because it's on the tracks. Um, so it's making it a little tough to get the material out and to get full bucket loads. But we got more stuff out. Sarah just finished working for the day and has been watching. Yeah, I've been in like my sales meetings and all I hear is this skid steer out here dumping this process. I, when we said we were gonna pick up the process, I did not think it was gonna be this elaborate. <laughs> well, I was- be able to just dump it. Well, I was hoping to do two loads, like three yards each or three yards and then four yards, and that would have been no problem. But the amount that one this guy gave me was way more than we wanted, I think. And uh, I had to get it all in one load to, I guess just because they didn't have operators, so. Thank God you just got this good steer. I know, thank God we got it just in time, in the nick of time, and it's, uh, so far it's been a lot better than a shovel by hand. So what do you think? You think it'll dump it now? <laughs> I don't want to see you do another load of this. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. again trailer is much more empty this time i was taking scoops out of the very front driving the mini skids here all the way up to the front we got a lot of it spread out into these little piles um i don't know if you guys saw on that little time lapse there but i did put down the rear stabilizer legs um i totally forgot to do that in the beginning something i probably should have done but um, I guess better late than never. Um, for those of you who are wondering as well, I do have a big rock in front of my tire here to chalk it because we are on a hill. This was a lot of weight and it's a lot of jostling around on the trailer and on the truck and everything. So trying to take all the safety pre precautions we can. Um, Got to hand it to the sure Track ramps. These things have you know, obviously gotten a lot of use just loading and unloading the tractor and other equipment and stuff. But today, all the driving up and down, up and down, they're uh, really getting a workout. We're gonna try this again. You know what, actually, before I back up the truck and everything, let's just see if it'll go up. All right, everybody, moment of truth. Cross your fingers, here we go. Oh, we have lift off. All right. You can see how heavy this thing still is. But all right. We got dumping power, I guess. Now, for anybody that's going to comment in the comment section, oh, my dump trailer could dump that. Oh, you sure track. You should have had a big Tex or a Diamond C or a Texas Pride or, you know, whatever. This dump trailer has never done this before except for one time and Sam and I maybe shoveled gravel for like five minutes to the back and it dumped it no problem. I've hauled big heavy logs all the way loaded up past the side rails and stuff. This trailer has been great and it's not even the telescopic. It is the dual ram which um, has its you know pluses and minuses for my application. Um, the salesman and I both decided that the dual ram would be a tad bit better um, than say the telescopic because hauling wood um, by nature, it's not gonna be even. Um, I can have a, you know more weight on one side than the other. The telescopic, although it is in the center and it gives you a lot more lifting power, um, people have known to like kind of torque it a little bit because all the, the, 
the lifting power is in the front and it can kind of torque from left to right if it's uh, not a you know evenly distributed weight load. So I did go with the dual Ram for that purpose. Um, but yeah, this trailer has been great. It's a beast. And uh, this <laughs> massive amount of process, you know, was just too much. The, the trailer finally met its match. But thank goodness for the Cormiti mini loader. This thing came in clutch. So glad I got it last week and uh, can't wait to keep using it. So enough chit chat. I'm going to back up and get the rest of this stuff dumped. Probably going to dump it right about here um, because as you can see, I had to take down this line, but um, we're going to need quite a bit of uh, like fill that I believe the top of that line is going to be um, the final like grade of the, the, the top of the patio. Um, so we're going to plan on putting some bushes or something here to kind of fill in that gap on the outside, but we're going to get this thing dumped. Well guys, as you just saw, we finally got the Sure Track dump trailer dumped. I was not expecting this to happen today. Not exactly how I was planning on spending my afternoon. However, I am thankful for the fact that I have this poor midi midi loader. And I'm pretty happy that I got some more, you know, well it's not really seat time, but I guess stand time on it, just operating it, getting to know it. Um, doing a little bit of like dirt work, which is different than what I'll probably primarily be doing with it, which is, you know, tree work and moving logs and wood and stuff like that. So this was fun. My way of contributing to the uh, patio build because I am definitely not building the patio. That is way out of my expertise. Um, Sarah and I considered that and we thought my time would be better spent up in the trees to pay for the patio. Um, so we got a guy coming to do it. It should, like I said in the beginning, I think depending on the weather, they should be pouring the slab on Friday. Um, they're going to be coming tomorrow to move all this stuff around to where they need it, um, to get their pitch and everything right. But, uh, yeah, this was fun. Um, again, I can't say how thankful I am for having this, uh, mini loader. This thing really saved the day. I think just, you know, with the tractor, the tractor is just too big to be doing what, I needed to do today with this and the fact that I could just drive it up the ramps into the trailer it worked great there's gonna be plenty more videos of me using this thing in the future um, so yeah if you guys like this stuff give us a big thumbs up if you had haven't done so already hit that subscribe button we hit 2100 subscribers which is great that count just keeps going up seems like it it's going faster and faster so that's awesome um, to those of you who are new to the channel welcome um, any questions, comments, feedback on what I could have done differently. Um, I'm always open to that. So let me know in the comment section below. But uh, for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. We'll see you here next time. Thanks so much for watching.